What's up people, welcome back to another explanation video. This time I'm gonna go over buffs and over buffs. So basically I wanna, you know, talk about the uh, how do you, you know, know if you if you have a buff limit or if you're over buffing. So yeah, I'm gonna do that real quick because I think I explained it somewhat back in the day, but you know, not quite clear. So I'm just gonna make a uh, separate explanation video for it. And uh, yeah, so let's do this. Okay, so the first thing I wanna talk about is the uh, the skill trees, you know, for the, uh, the skill itself, like the buffs, the ticks. So like these tick marks. Um, so like, you know, what are like over buffs now sometimes Sometimes if you're like playing, most of the time if you're, you know, if you're not sure is that um, when you're using like, like a lot of buffs in this game and you know, you have to like know the limit, otherwise you're not making the uh, buffs more effective, you'll make it like less effective, you know, for example, the more, the more buffs you're using, like it could, it could be like minimum amount of buffs but you have like a, a lot of ticks like on this side, like the duration, like the effect times, they don't really take like buff slots. They're mostly just for, you know, more SP and stuff like these. If they have like extra, like, you know, for like effects, like increase certain, you know, for certain things, like for example, like this, if you want to add more accuracy into the sword dance, it's going to take like, an extra one more buff slot so in this case this sword dance has only um like two buff slots but it's kind of hard to to tell you know what's what's on there you know until you use it um so the, that's why i'm saying you know sometimes you know back in the day when we play multiplayer or play anything we would just use like all these buffs uh without knowing how much you know one buffs are included in the total buffs you know, sometimes one buff can have like three or four buff slots taken so that's why you know what I'm saying over buff is that you'll be using way more than you know you should have um, in like a fight or something then you'll start you'll start losing some of the other buffs because these type of buffs will like overrun the other ones and you know for example if you're wondering why when I use like reapers or anything to increase crit and stuff they don't crit anymore it's because usually if you're using if you're using like a buff that would like all capped out like this this like all like all these stuff that capped out um they would take more than like three or four buffs left. so it's very fast your other buffs gonna get overridden and that's one of the you know problem okay so the next part i want to talk about is the r codes um some of the r codes in this game they do have like random buffs in there like for example sometimes you'll see these in there but it's similar to like the others if you have r code like all like like all of these like they could potentially have like buffs in it especially like you know you don't know if there's aoe if you don't know if there's like you know any like anything like especially when you have born leader on anything the ai buff themselves you'll get that buffs regardless if you um if you have that buff or not because that's what our code is like the ai will just use things that's on there usually so yeah, so you have to be like be careful with like you know born leader, or you have to check like individual R codes, and see if um you know and see if there is you know like any extra buffs that actually you know taking buff slots. Um, also, that's why you see me sometimes I switch off the uh, the born leader because especially when I'm using debuffer, um, it takes. It, it actually share all these negative stuff so it's good you know if you swap off the uh, after the buffs you swap it off to a uh, to like a different record where they can't really share it and then that way you don't get over buffs especially for the debuffer that's why you see me I always change it to like nimble 
so I can, or like Prodigy or something. Like for my Alice and Lino, they don't really use anything buff themselves. That I don't have to worry about changing it, but you know, like the that's why um, that's why the other thing you could get over buffed is your record from all your you know from your own records. Either you download from somewhere online or either you make it yourself, but do need to check those, especially playing, you know, multiplayer or solo, either one, because those kind of buffs can really overrun your buffs so fast. Because for example, if I have like, you know, these, she'll use it, even if I don't really have it, like, even if I don't have it on her, she'll use it if I have the right, um, if I have the right EX skill on, the AI will use that buff, you know, no question. Um, so that's another thing you have to watch out for when it comes to over buff. All right, moving on. The next thing I want to talk about are the uh, the plus skills. Um, why you know I use them a lot of time, uh, which is completely different than you know the non plus version. The the plus version, it's really good because. Especially when you're doing like the one down and stuff or whatever, um, it takes one buff slot. Like even though it's it has a lot of stuff on there. Like for example, like there's four different things on there, but it doesn't mean there's like four buffs. It's just one buff. So that's what the uh, plus skills are. That's like the best part about those plus skills. It use you know it use less you know. Um, less buff slots and you know some some of them has more duration time like the effect time the recast is short um other than that it's it's really good to use the plus skills you know for example like all these plus skills that's why you know when i'm showing you guys i usually just show you guys the buffs that i'm using um that's basically it you know for example like billion blossom like i that's like that's not the plus version but these are like one buff slots i turn it down to one buff slot you can make it multiple like more than one buff slots if you have more ticks but the thing is you don't really need uh, more buff slots for these things because the the less is better you know for some of these skills because you don't really need you don't really need a lot of ticks that like to make it more powerful or anything like the less ticks Sometimes it's better with less, but unless you're doing the arena, then you have you can have to cap out the, uh, you know, the buff for the ticks because that way it's easier. It helps a lot in the arena, but outside the arena, you don't really need it. Um, it's better off just use a little bit less and not over buff yourself. Other than that, like the plus skills, they're all like one slot. That's why you know, when I say like for example, this one is not a plus skill. This is a sword goddess from the. Uh, the normal version i turn it on to like two buff slots it's it's because like you know i want to maximize my speed and etc it also depends on how much you want to maximize you know like how much um how much you know speed or etc for the non buffs like non plus buffs like that's what you really look for is that um like what you really want and then how to put them all together and make it you know like 20 20 buffs or less that way you don't over buff yourself and get the max get the maximum amount of you know dps speed crit anything you know that's the whole point of um the like the buff the plus version and the non plus one the non plus version you just have to watch out when you combine with the plus version and uh yeah that's about it you know like all these they're all like like besides speed i really use you know two buff slots because that's really that's more than enough you know so one down that's what i use but you guys can use more but the thing is the more you use the less plus skills you're gonna have to you know not the less you, you can use because if you if you add another plus five percent speed there it's gonna take another buff slot so you're gonna have to subtract one of the skill which is kind of hard to balance so it's, it's all about you know your choice and how you want to use them effective you know etc and stuff and uh, other than that they're all all my skills are pretty much one buff slot except um except sort of goddesses occasionally i turn it up to you know three 
it depends what I'm doing. Uh, other than that, it's not that much different. Galvanize, don't really use it. So the other thing I want to talk about is the uh, the lands. I mean, not the landscape, the the Falcon Fist. This acts like wits, and it's it does take one buff slot. So if you use that, you have to include this as you know as well into your buff slot. So any any plus skills, you know, like for example, like debuffs. Uh, where's the other one? Um, oh yeah, the um, the combat ready. That's actually one buff slot as well. Even though it doesn't really, you know, increase like too much of different like stuff, but it still counts as one buff. It's like Falcon Fizz, Wits, and their debuff, but they do take like one buff slot. So when you use those, they do count as well. So you have to really watch out. You know, have to include that into the uh, you know the buff if you're gonna make. If you're gonna try to count at how many are there, so yeah. Okay, so the last thing I want to talk about is how to count the buffs in this game. Um, so that way you know, you know how many buffs you have. Uh, the max buff is twenty. So this is how you count the buffs in this game. You know, you count the name first. I already I already buffed it because I'm. This is this is like you know I'm using this like for the uh the tap here as i usually you know do for the 2020 buffs and excluding falcon fist because it's not that i haven't i need to hit that guy to able to even to get it i think you might be able to use it and you still get it but i'm not sure other than that this is how you count the buffs so for example you count the name so echo this is one buff reaper's wrath plus this is one buff yeah, it has two effects, but it's one name, so it's one buff. Sword of Goddess. There's two, so that's why I say that's why I explained it earlier. You know, two buff slots when I use Sword of Goddess. If you want to add another one, like another speed plus five percent speed, it'll pop up here somewhere. So that's three. So Sword of Goddesses is two, so one and two. So that's two buff slots. And Emergency uh, Evade Plus, that's one. Now, Bulwark is interesting. Bulwark does not take four buff slots. This is not the amount of buff slots you take. This is just the effects. So what they really take is just one because there's only one name here. So that's why I say read the names. How many names are there? That's how you count the buffs. Thorn, one. Billion, one. Emergency, one. Tiger, Bulwark. So etc. You just keep counting it, you know, Burning Blade one so you know sword goddess goddesses and you know attack i mean attack speed up so that's two etc so you just count these names until you um until you like make sure it's like 20 or less otherwise you're over buffing yourself that's why um it's important to to know like when you're over buff and when you're not uh, especially especially when i'm doing the uh, one down and stuff you know, the one down, it, it really, it's really needed like that 2020 buff for certain enemies at the moment. Um, because like you have to maximize the amount of DPS to even kill them, which, you know, each buff does matter. That's why, you know, I always use the plus version over the non plus version because they take a lot less, a lot less buff slots. If you're using like, you know, if you're using the, uh, you know, the non-plus version, you just have to make sure they're plus. I mean, they're not plus. You just have to make sure they're just one name. That's all you really need. You don't really need, like, two different names. Like, for example, you know, sort of goddesses. Now, the speed, I want to maximize it to, like, you know, 20%. That's why I only need two. But if you add a three there to get five more percent speed, you're going to have to minus... A different source I mean not source uh, different buffs so like the more you have ticks the more it will take away these good buffs so that's why you know some of the buffs are always will be there because they're very you know useful especially like the plus versions they use less they the duration is longer some of them and less SP 
and you know more effects on it so that's why you know that's why I always use the plus version like for the non plus version is it depends what I want to you know really use so to to sums up the 2020 buffs so basically you know it, like in this this part of the uh, you know the but like the buff slash debuff list the debuffs can pop up as well just like you you know just like you can see that but you know this is how you count the buffs in this game you count the names not the effects you know you know I re you know I have, to, I have to repeat that you know a lot of time because yeah you know, I think I think you know like for example people would just count you know for example like Reaper's Wrath will count this crit you know crit rate plus 35 and you know chain burst risk plus 10 percent that that's two buffs no that's not two buff this is one buff the whole thing is a one buff that's why I say you know count the name count the name count the name so you just count it up as a total of 20 and that's it you know more you know no no more than 20 because that way you'll get you'll get over buff so trying to stay either 20 or less than 20 so like I say the, the more ticks you have the more buff slot it takes this is why you're like if you're getting over buffs and not hitting any crits it replaced them um, if you're over buffing some of the stuff it replaced you know the buff list like it replace it can replace all of these that's why you know when I say AI is using buffs themselves they'll replace all these stuff like that's why if it replace your crit like your reapers wrap you're not gonna crit that's why you'll see like hmm, I'm using a lot of buffs but why am I not critting you know I'm using many reapers wraps why am I not critting it's because your your buffs getting replaced so you have to make sure that's not the case and that's why I told you all earlier make sure you check the AI's R codes make sure they don't do any buffs on their own and that way you don't get over buff so you don't get overrun buffs especially online check your you know check how many buffs you have usually play online if you play with randoms just make sure you have your own buffs because don't buff other people because like the thing is some people have their own buffs you know, you, if you if you're buffing the other, like if you have a sword dance, and you cap out and you're buffing the others, they're gonna get the sword dance even even if they don't want it. Like the AOE stuff, they will get it um, on their buff list. This is why I, what I'm saying over, you know, when trying to help people online, they over buff you, so you're basically not doing like damage at all. Like when you have no crits and you know nothing. They're getting overridden, and you're basically doing. You're not really like helping at that point because you can. All your buffs are gone, and you really can't do much. So that's why I say you know, just read the um, read how many names are there, count up your total buffs. You know, just make sure it's twenty or less, and that's pretty much it. You know, this is how you count the buffs in this game, and you know, trying to sums up. How to maximize your buffs and make sure you don't get over buff uh, so that's the key point and you can always you know once you get used to it you already know how many buffs you have without even looking at the buff list but if you're not sure how many buffs you have you can always go to the buff list and count it real quick um, so that's that's the whole point that's why you know um, when I give you when I do the the one down and stuff I use I use 20 20 buffs Sometimes I don't. Sometimes I do. Um, for the for the always like the difficult end of the stuff, yeah, 2020 is definitely needed. So, which is why you know maximize them is very important and not get over buff, which is gonna like make you lose a lot of damage, lose crits and lose etc. So, all right, people. I hope that should do it. Um, you know, like I say, the buffs in this games are quite different, you know, because you can't use all of them and, you know, to, to make it like, you know, OP or anything. The more, it's not necessary means the more buffs you're using, you know, the more, you know, dam damage you'll do. It's the amount of buffs that you use will make a difference, you know, not, not more, like, just enough, you know. Sometimes you can use less buffs. But not over buffing you can still do a lot but like the key point is you know try to not over buff 
that's like the that's like the main point of this video so that's why i was like explaining it much more depth than you now some of my old videos but at some point like i say i will probably update some of the old explanations because they're kind of a little bit you know old because they're like a year almost and you know i'll be working on a lot of explanation videos when i'm you know finish up the the fine beast for like there's only like a couple weapons left so after that i'll just do a a few for the shards and then most of the most of you know most of the videos coming up is after those are explanation videos so I'm, I'm gonna do like each type of weapon you know explain them this is like the like the stuff you know you'll be you know using like it will help and explain more of a different type of weapon you know their builds you know what to expect and what their sword skills much more in depth and stuff so we can generate idea of what that weapon you know what it can do and how to you know use them more effective so yeah all right i hope you guys enjoy it if you got question as usual leave it in the comment section and you know if i see it i'll, I'll, I'll just uh, reply it and hope you guys enjoy it until next time